Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to make some really random, specific observations about different types. Really particular observations that I made about the physical appearance of types. And the types I had in mind for this video are the ENFP, the INTJ, the ENTJ, and the ISFJ. So let's first start with the ENFP. The ENFP has eyes that have eyelids. Okay, everyone's eyes has eyelids. But anyway, they have eyelids that look like they're slowly closing. As I mentioned before, types that have extroverted intuition as a dominant function, and this is ENTP and this is ENFP, they have eyes that look around all the time. Uh, but combine this with the eyelids that close slowly. So they have ENFPs have eyelids that close slowly, such that it looks like their eyelashes are props on their eyelids. Um, just going up and down like this. And um, it kind of gives the impression of just like absorbing the environment around them, but at the same time, um, they, they don't look like they're looking at anything in particular. So same thing with ENTPs. ENTPs and um, ENFPs, they look around all the time, but unlike an expert sensing type who also looks around a lot, um, their eyes are not like focused. It's always like a kind of like a defocused kind of look. Um, all intuitive types kind of have hazy looking eyes. Um, X-ray intuiting dominant types, they look around a lot, but they're not looking at anything in particular when they're doing so. And sorry, the light is in my eye too, so I can't even really make this impression that well. Um, and um, it's because they're, they're uh, minded, you know, they're thinking in their head, so they're not actually looking at things. But um, another thing that ENFPs, when I look at their eyes, their eyes look like space goggles. So I've made an association in my mind that their eyes look like space goggles. And I don't even know what I mean by that. So I just Googled space goggles to find out what I meant, mean by that. I'm, I'm just really certain about this connection. So I said, I'm going to look it up on Google to show that this thing is real. So I looked up space goggles and you can see this guy is wearing space goggles. This guy is wearing space goggles. So of course ENFPs are not wearing space goggles, but their eyes give kind of the impression of that. It kind of looks like what you see here or what you see here. So, um, there's, there's something that looks very ENFP-like about the eyes. And um, another thing is that ENFPs, they have a smile, and I call it the Charlie Brown smile. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is Charlie Brown, and this is how he smiles, like that. So the edges of the mouth, they go all the way up, straight up like that, and often closed, like it's all closed, right? So, okay, now uh, the camera has, the light is all yellow right now. I think it's because I just put this up in front of the camera. So um, anyway, I'll give, I'll show you pictures of ENFPs. So this is the examples I have. Like these are ENFPs. If you see the edge of the mouth goes all the way up, goes all the way up, and but it's tight, right? This guy, okay, he, he has his mouth open, but you could see the same thing at the very end. It goes straight up like that. And it's like, a, it's a Charlie Brown smile, and I see it in real life too. Um, another thing, ENF, ENFPs, um, one subtype, uh, I think the FI subtype, I would think it is, is the one that's not as like, the subtype that's not all, not like, the subtype that's not bouncing all over the walls. And so it's a kind of like the more subdued subtype. But when they walk, they look like uh, like a floating cloud. 
So when they're walking, it's like they kind of give that impression of a floating cloud that's just uh, moving around. Okay, so um, on to INTJs. So INTJs, they have a look. Um, they kind of like jut their head forward like this. And they have this look like this. And this is, okay, I make a lot of these associations and it's like a very INFP way of thinking, but it really describes people well. So when they do this, I kind of think like if they just put like a cigarette in their mouth like this, they actually look pretty cool. So I, whenever I see an INTJ, I try to like imagine, use my x-ray intuition and I imagine a cigarette and they, they're holding it like this. And the thing is, if they look good while doing it, I think that person's an INTJ. So they're like this. And um, they have a face that it's like, like, it says, you fool, on it. Um, there's two different types of INTJs. Um, there's the soft one and the hard one. So the soft one is the NI subtype, the hard one is the TE subtype. The TE subtype, with the face, he's obviously, or she's obviously saying, you fool. The NI subtype, it's not obvious right away, but you could actually catch it on their face. So the NI subtype appears very, very nice and acts very nice, but then there's definitely moments of, they're definitely thinking you fool in their head and you can see it on their face. Um, all INTJs kind of have a Scorpio vibe, so they kind of, there's like always like this almost dark energy around them. <laughs> there's like kind of like something of a darker energy, something that reminds you of the month of October. Um, a lot of them, okay, the NI subtype that I mentioned before, they, um, the men, a lot of them, they just, they talk really slow like this and they always have trouble kind of uh, finding their words. Um, and a lot of INTJs, they have, they drop their jaws. Like when they're listening, they're like, And um, a lot of um, INTJ men, not, I wouldn't say most of them, but a good percentage of them, they grow a full beard and it's trimmed. And it looks good because, you know, without look, where they're jutting their head forward, um, they look very professorly. And obviously they're like a, a deep thinking type, so it looks good on them. Um, a lot of them have very watery looking eyes. I think I mentioned this in another video. So, um, ENTJ, ENTJ, it looks like their faces are like this part of their face with their eyebrows and their eyes. It's all like squished and it's oblongated, okay? Um, ENTJs, 70% of them test as INTJs and are convinced that they're INTJs and this video won't convince them otherwise. But um, anyway, I, I made a video before about uh, these two I INTJs talking to each other. And I realized when I look back, they're actually ENTJs. They just say that they're INTJs because a lot of ENTJs think they're INTJs. But basically in that video, I talk about two INTJs talking to each other. And um, they're really ENTJs. Um, ENTJs, of all types, they have really, um, they, they remind me of box. So a lot of them have boxy movements or there's something like the, the way they carry themselves is like a box. It's more obvious if it's not a slim ENTJ. If they're not a slim ENTJ, the more the boxiness is a pretty apparent. Um, so in that video, I talk about two uh, people talking to one another and they have these really boxy movements like this. One's talking like this and the other one's talking like this. Those, those are ENTJs because they, ENTJs have very boxy movements. A lot of um, ENTJs, when they smile, a lot, they, a lot of them smile a lot and they, they have kind of like a V-shaped smile. Um, and their eyes, when they look straight ahead, their pupils look straight ahead. So they look like a railroad tracks that go zoom. It's kind of freaky. Um, so last but not least, ISFJs. ISFJs, they have this 
smile that's like very stretched and forced. And they look like they're baring their teeth. And um, it, uh, the character I thought about is Ren and Stimpy. So if you look at Ren, his smile is an ISFJ smile. I don't watch I don't watch the cartoon, so I don't know what type he is, but he has that smile of an ISFJ. And that is the smile I'm talking about. It's like it's stretched, and it's like as if the edges are kind of like rounded. And it kind of gives the impression of like um, it's teeth bearing, um, it's forced, and it's a bit um, people pleasing smile, but it's also a mischievous kind of smile too. Um, a lot of ISFJs, their mouth also forms an O shape, like. And um, another random specific observation, a lot of men, they wear a specific kind of hat that makes them look like they're always on vacation. And I just keep seeing this over and over again, this ISFJ and then men, and then they always, a lot of them have this kind of hat. And I'll show you an example. It's kind of like this, like this guy's hat. It's, it's, um, it's kind of like a straw hat or a beige hat with a very long brim. And they have, it has like a strap on it like that. And it's usually like a, you know, it has a color to it. And um, let me see, I have another example. Okay, so anybody, and he looks like he's like on vacation, right? That guy looks like he's on vacation. So a lot of ISFJ, Men look like they're always on vacation. Um, and women, ISFJ women, they have, the way they carry themselves, it looks like a very friendly cat. So I'm talking about like how they, how they move. Like, it's kind of like very, very cat-like, like a social cat, not like one of the introverted cats, a very friendly cat. Even the way they open their mouths, like the ISFJ, um, it's kind of like how a cat would be like, like a kind of like a cat mouth. Um, a lot of, um, okay, ISFJs, the way they act out of all, so the way they behave and the way they appear, out of all types, they're the least taken seriously. Like once you look at them, it's like, I can't take this person seriously, this ISFJ, more so than any other type. Um, so um, they're kind of like, ENTPs in that way. ENTPs actually look a bit more serious than them, but they're both not like very serious types. And um, and also ISFJs kind of have like, a lot of them kind of like have like bouncy movements, but it's like, and with it, they have a lot of like, a lot of subtle small movements that go along with that. And, um, and I noticed that ENTPs, they also have a lot of like subtle movements, but they're like these jerky movements. So um, yeah, I think those are the observations I wanted to make for this video.